Welcome! Thank you for spending some of your time with us. My name is Tina Rosenquist and this is Knowledge for Wellness. And this show is to better inform you. Because when you know more, you are empowered to make better decisions for yourself and your loved ones for a better quality of life. And knowledge is power. And today's topic is on traditional Chinese medicine. And I am delighted to present John Walters from Health Point Oriental Medicine, located on Snelling Avenue in St. Paul. Welcome, John. Tina, thank you so much for having me. I am so delighted that you could join us on Knowledge for Wellness and to educate my viewers on acupuncture. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. But this is your first time on Knowledge for Wellness. Yes. And so I'd like for you to tell my viewers a little bit about yourself, your love, your passion, and why you went into this line of work. Well, I've been in Chinese medicine now for about six years professionally. Okay. Prior to that, I was in the health insurance market. I directed operations for a number of health plans here in the Twin Cities metropolitan area. But I always wanted to get into direct patient care. I've had a long-standing interest in Eastern philosophy, Eastern medicine, mm -hmm. these kinds of complementary approaches. And that finally led me into Chinese medicine. Oh, that's fabulous. And so you, of course, then attended certain colleges? That's and, correct. Specifically mm -hmm. for traditional Chinese medicine, I attended the American Academy of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine here in the Twin Cities. Mm -hmm. And that's a school, one of two in the Twin Cities, but where the faculty is almost entirely uh, from China. And that mm -hmm. was appealing to me. Okay. And I just want my viewers to be aware, of course, is the difference between uh, someone that you would go to for acupuncture, let's say at a chiropractic office, and then, of course, you who actually was trained and educated in traditional Correct. Chinese medicine. That's a great question. I really appreciate that. Uh, the difference is primarily that in traditional Chinese medicine training, we're getting four years of specific subspecialty training in acupuncture and oriental medicine theory, and of course the modalities and treatment techniques and diagnostic methods and so forth. And then we are nationally board certified, and finally we are licensed by the Minnesota Board of Medical Practice here in Minnesota. Okay, and how long does that take for you to That whole process apply? takes about four, maybe even five years. Okay, good to know, mm -hmm. yes. So there's a lot more detail that goes into that as well. Very much so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you opened up Health Point Ori Oriental Medicine then in what year was that? Uh, we started business in 2006. We're, we've been at our present site in St. Paul since 2007. Okay, that's great. And you had a patient that came in with upper back and neck that progressed into frequent headaches. And so we were lucky enough to capture that footage at your clinic. Right. So if you could set us up for that. Sure, this is a young woman in her late 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, she herself is uh, in school, so she has some stress in her life. There's a lot of change going on in her life. And she has kind of constant upper back, upper shoulder uh, tension, uh, some postural issues. And these progress up into what we call her occipital region, the back of her head, in terms of common frequent headaches for her. And she rates these as fairly severe. We would say seven or eight on a pain scale of 10. And so we treated her probably for, oh, four to six weeks initially before that was able to settle down for her. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and go to that uh, footage then. Okay, great. Thanks. Jenna, good to see you again. Yeah. So you were in uh, today to work on your upper back again a little bit and neck yeah. and so forth. Okay, same story. Let's have a look at your tongue today. Open nice and wide for me. Okay. A little scalping around the edges there, not atypical for you. That's good. And then just put your hand on the table here. We'll feel your pulse. We'll set that over there for today. How have you been feeling since the last time I saw you? All right, not too bad. Yeah, not remarkably better, but you're making some progress. A little bit, yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Well, your pulse is a little wiry, but that's not unusual for you. You should probably feel this one here too. Yeah, maybe a little slippery in the middle of jowl position there. Okay, good. Well, we'll kind of continue as we have in the past, where we'll have you face down on the table. And uh, again, if there's any just uncomfort at all, always let me know. Um, I'm going to step out of the room and go get washed up, and that'll give you a chance to change into a gown. And just move the door open a little bit when you're ready, and we'll get started, okay? Okay. Good. Okay, thanks. I'll be right back. Okay, you want to go ahead and climb up on the table, Shannon? 
space in the face cradle cover there. Real good. And uh, I'm just going to come around here and open up the field I need to work at. I'm going to drape it a little bit up here. And I'll come around to this side. You comfortable there? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so we're going to work today on your Thai yawn channel, your greater yawn channel. And find a spot there and there. Here, 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 and here. And work a little bit on your kidney points down here as well, okay? Alright. Just let me know if there's any discomfort. Okay. Which should be fine. Good. How's school going for you? Uh, good, I'm almost done. Are you really? Yeah. Wow. Are you going to go right out and hit the job market? No. Hopefully. <laughs> well, it's been kind of a long haul. Yep. So if I ever need a, an x-ray technologist to refer, refer to, you're going to be my person. Awesome. <laughs> just to make sure we're getting that sheet of flow well. Good, I can see a little circulation happening there, that's wonderful. You okay with that? Yeah. No bothersome. those needles here. I'm going to start getting the cupping items ready here. Because I know how much you like that. <laughs> and uh, we're going to kind of move the process along a little bit today. So I'm going to remove the needles and then we're going to put cups all along that same channel. Needles are used once, they come sterile from the factory, so there's very little risk of contagion. We keep a clean, sterile field. And when we're done with the needles, they all go into a sharps container there. All right, good. Now, um, I'm gonna swing around over here to grab these cups. And I think I can just grab the whole tray there. And set those. The foot of the table. Okay. We have a fire source and we start placing the cups here. There. And the fire creates a vacuum. The cup then seeks to equalize that pressure, equalize the create some equilibrium and it does that by grabbing the skin and the tissue just beneath the skin, the uh, interstitial tissue. So now conceivably, 
I could grab these cups and probably levitate Chan and probably <laughs> lift her right off the table because the grab is so strong there. But you're looking good. And normally we leave those cups stay there for a few minutes. You can see underneath the cup where it is grabbing the skin, it's pulling up and congesting the tissue underneath there, causing it to be a little red. So when she goes home, if she were going to go out on the, the beach this afternoon on a warm spring Minnesota day, um, people would be curious about the row of uh, crop circles on her back by virtue of this cupping. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the cups and we're going to add oil into the process to create a medium, create that vacuum again and move the cup along her entire backside. You can kind of hear the air escaping as we break that vacuum. And there are the little crop circles on her. Were we to leave the cups on long enough, and or if we adhere them quite tightly, those circular marks there can be pretty pronounced, but they dissipate within a day or two. Okay, so we're going to grab some more alcohol here. Not too much. And a little oil. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and move this oil fairly liberally around Shannon's dorsal backside here. Because we want a nice medium for that cup to glide on. And thereby making it feel good to her rather than uncomfortable. Pretty strong grab here. Is it too strong for you or is it okay? It's alright. Okay. It's just a little strong from my perspective. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit to get that cut in there. So I pick up the pace here a little bit to create a little bit of circulation, drawing the blood into this tissue. But we still have a bit of grab going on there. And I can adjust that a little bit here. Now we got pretty strong <laughs> one. We've got a good flame going here today. That's about right there. And then we just work that all over the entire back here. The patients generally like this procedure. What we're trying to do here basically is move chi and blood and increase the circulation. Uh, when we have the warmth inside the cup, it tends to also warm up the channels, which has the same effect to move chi. Chi is the commander of blood and moves it through the vessels in the body. Okay. So I think that just about concludes our brief session today. I'm just going to dry up. Chan here just using the gown a little bit. If she doesn't slide down the street on her way home. And then I'll just keep another towel down here to make sure she's nice and cleaned up. Okay, kid, how are you feeling? Good. Like a new woman? <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave couple towels on your backside here when you get up. I'll see you up front, but take your time, okay? Okay. All right. Be careful about the, all the cups on the edge of the table here so you don't knock them down when you get up, okay? Sure. Very good. Thank you. I'll come back. All right, we'll get your rescheduled. Okay. okay. Any questions before I go back? No. Okay. Good. good to see you again. You too. Take care. In a week? Uh, I think two weeks would be fine. Two weeks. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, what works for you? Two weeks would be um, the week of the 25th?